So I decided to get the kids a snack. And Porter found the bowl, and yeah, this is what happened. Yeah, are you gonna clean that up? Oh, thanks. Thank you, yeah. Yay! Yay, good job. <laughs> thanks. Well, that's gonna be fun. Grayson's in here playing with a toy. Hi, Gray. I wanted to update you all on the house. The first floor is completely painted. The only thing we need to do is just go back and do some touch-ups because some of the baseboards got some gray on it and some of the ceiling paint came off, but it is totally gray. <laughs> so we have finished. This, if you remember, it should be dark blue. Everything else was a tan, beachy keen, and it is gray. We still need to hang stuff. As you can see, our picture frames. We need to hang stuff on the walls, but it is done. Good morning, you guys. So last night we started painting the upstairs. We're starting with our bedroom and then we'll see where it takes us. Um, I got, I don't even know if it's half of our ba our bedroom. Our master bedroom is huge. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys it, but it's huge and so it's gonna need a lot of paint. So yeah, we painted upstairs. That's what we've been working on. It is, Friday, the last time I vlogged was when I told you guys how we didn't win that house and I think that was Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. So it's been a while since I vlogged even though it probably doesn't seem like it on YouTube. But um, yeah, house news, there's really no update. Uh, like I said, we didn't win that house even though we should have and I'm still not over it. Let me know if, if that's happened to you too. I'm just, I still feel like we should have won that house. I've been waiting all week for like a miracle to happen and the buyers to back out and we get the, you know, second chance at it. But unfortunately that has not happened. And to make matters worse and rub salt in the wound, there are no houses that I like that are worth going to see this weekend. I don't think that's happened for over a month. Usually every weekend there's at least one house to look at. And we're looking at like four or five different sections of Columbus. So it's not like we have a very narrow section that we're looking at. It's just, and it's not like there aren't houses on the market, but like either they're too far from Anthony's work or the schools are stinky or the house is too old. I get it, I'm being picky, but I need to be picky because this is a huge purchase. So. Yeah, unfortunately, um, no houses that we're gonna look at. So now we have to wait a whole nother week and hope and pray that more houses come on the market. So if you could think good thoughts, push them our way because we really, really wanna get this ball rolling with the house. It's really hard to like work on your house when you don't know, when you don't have like an end in sight, like you don't have like that house that you're going to, so. As you can tell, I'm still upset that we didn't win that house, but I'll get over it. So anyway, yes, it's Friday. We made it through the week. Um, Gray had preschool. They set up this cute little astronaut or space station section in their preschool, and so they took pictures of the kids, so I'll yeah. input a picture they took yeah. of Gray here. He loved it, and I guess they had movement class, and they pretended to walk on the moon. Mm. What do you want? Yeah. Day. Couch. Day. Shoes. Day. Can you go clean up that puzzle? Go clean up the the rocket ship puzzle. So yeah, he only has two more weeks of school and then he is on summer break. Of course, preschool usually ends a little earlier than regular school, but it just blows my mind that we're almost to summer. Sure doesn't feel like it. The past week, we've really just had to stay inside because it's been too cold. It was 80s last weekend and then it's been down to like 40s and low 50s. So we haven't been out, but today's supposed to be like high 68, 66. So we'll go out this afternoon, but it's still too cold this morning I'm just over this cold so we've been trying to survive we had to go to my mom's house the one day because um, the boys woke up early from naps well Gray didn't take a nap and I was like what am I gonna do with them it's freezing outside and I'm going crazy so we went over to my mom's house but 
Anyway, we're just kind of chilling. I did want to tell you guys some exciting news. I got a new phone. So last time I bought a new phone was over four years ago. It was before Gray was born. And Anthony and I both got 10s or the iPhone X or whatever. So um, we had that. And then two years ago for my birthday, my parents got like a free phone through my dad's work or something. And so it was an iPhone 11. But the pro it was nicer than the 10, obviously. But the problem with it was it only had 64 gigabytes of memory. And I guess they don't even make that small of memory anymore because that's just not enough. And it isn't because I was constantly having to like delete photos and get data off my phone and it was a pain. I started doing some part-time work for my my dad's work and part of that was a uh, phone I guess as a perk so they let me pick you know whatever phone I wanted which was really exciting Porter loves wearing Anthony's headphones you wearing headphones yeah yeah okay sorry he distracted me um, so I got to pick out a phone and so I decided to do the 13 Pro Max I've never had a max before and it is so much bigger than my phone so it's definitely an adjustment I love it though and I got it in the gold color so um, I'll show you it so here's the phone um, it's a lot slimmer than this I have this really bulky case on it because I don't want to break it obviously it's like over a thousand dollar phone but the problem is is like I got this case so that it would hold my credit cards but I can't even like open the case so I'm gonna get a different one I'm just waiting on it to come in the mail but yeah this is the iPhone it's way bigger taller than my old one and I love it so far the battery life is so much better so yeah, I'm super excited about my new phone. So that was something exciting to happen. Um, Anthony was gonna get it, uh, me a new phone for my birthday, but this just came up and obviously it's way better to get it when it's um, free than having to pay for it yourself. So I'm super excited about my new phone. So that was a, a good thing after you know losing the house and being sad about that. So anyway, we're just kinda hanging out probably gonna watch a show <laughs> and then we'll go outside this afternoon um, this weekend Anthony is taking the kiddos to Toledo to go see visit with his parents his mom's birthday is tomorrow so they're gonna go I was originally gonna go with them but now that I have this um, part-time job that I picked up, I have to be available on the weekend, so I am not going with them. So it's gonna be kind of weird. I'm gonna kind of get the house to myself for the for like a little over 24 hours. It's not even gonna be that long, but I'm pretty excited about that. So I'll I'll vlog my adventures, which is gonna be like probably me sitting and catching up on all my junkie TV shows because I haven't been able to like watch any shows because I've been painting every night and watching the kids and doing this part-time job. So I've been a little busy, but uh, yeah, I'll take you guys along. I think I'll probably eat out and maybe I'll go on a walk if it's nice enough. It's supposed to rain. Um, I don't know leave your comment down below like what do you do on free weekends when you have no husband and no kids? I've heard some people will go and book a hotel somewhere and just like have a Stay in vacation where they just literally just stay in the hotel and just do nothing all day That sounds pretty nice So let me know, but I'm gonna go tend to the kids What do you want? Do you want to watch a show? Yeah. You do? You want to watch a show? What do you want? Charlie. Oh, who brought you that? The Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny. We've been eating all our Pez. Yeah. The boys have been loving it. And then the Pez. Pez, you want candy? Yes. Okay, I got to get him candy, and I got to get a show for him. You want a show? Yeah. 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 We always make fun of how Porter says show because he goes, Xiao. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. Say it again. Xiao. 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 I'm so excited. Are you so excited? His favorite shows to watch right now are, of course, still YouTube. And they like to watch tractor shows. <laughs> That's their new thing. So I'm trying to convince them that we need to do a movie night and start watching Disney movies, but I just don't know that they're there yet to like 
have the attention span for a whole movie. So we'll see. Tractor. What What do you want? Tractor. Tractor. So a couple hours later, we're outside. It got warm enough. It's right before nap. Gray's riding his bike, and I'm pushing Porter in the stroller. The trees are really pretty this time of year in the spring. They're all blooming. So we're just enjoying the warmer weather. I gotta push gray every couple of steps, but that's all right. Ready? Go! So cute. And Porter's enjoying the ride too. So I'm blowing bubbles with this bubble gun that the Easter Bunny brought the kids. And Porter is popping the bubbles and it is the cutest thing. I try to get him his way, but it's hard with the wind. And he just gets up close to him and goes, pop. There he goes. Pop. I'm jelly. And who are you? Peanut butter. Oh, we're peanut butter and jelly. Who's Porter? Bread. Oh, Porter is bread. There you go. What are you doing? I'm going down the slide. Oh my gosh. Here, Porter. Bubbles are everywhere. Bubbles. Is that fun? What do you need help with? peanut butter. <laughs> hey guys, so we came back inside. I am cooking dinner. If you can't hear the sizzling sound. I'm um, cooking some chicken right now. We're going to make some um, burritos tonight. I think that's what they're called. They're called Mexican chicken and rice wraps. So I've made this before a time or two and it's pretty good. Um, I get a lot of my recipes from Kroger. <laughs> um, I do the Kroger pickup and where I just order the groceries online and then they put it in my um, trunk. And on their website, you can type in recipes in the search bar and then a bunch of recipes come up and then you can heart the ones that you wanna save and then it saves to my recipes. So that's where I do it. I like it because I can go on and order the ingredients right from the app or the website or whatever. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm bummed because I had to make the boys come in inside. We were having so much fun outside and it's beautiful finally, but I need to make dinner. And so I felt bad I made them come inside and now they're watching a show. They should be outside and not watching a show, but I don't quite know how to make dinner and have them be outside. If we had a fenced in backyard, I would feel better about it. But like we have fences on either side of our yard, but they're not connected. So they can easily escape to the front yard, which they frequently do. So I don't feel comfortable just leaving them outside. So maybe we'll go back out after dinner. We also need to do bath tonight. So I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I'm just cooking. I try to do like three or four recipes a week, like every other day. And then on the off days, we just um, have leftovers or we'll make like a frozen pizza or order in or whatever. So that's kind of what I my plan is. Let me know what your meal plan is down in the comments below. No. What's wrong, Port? You don't like this one? Yeah. Oh, he wants some milk. All right. Uh, yeah. Tortilla party. Mm, mm. Tortilla party. Mm, mm. Tortilla party. <laughs> We're going to have a tortilla party. You guys, these are my kids. They are just eating tortillas. <laughs> I finished dinner. Some um, wraps. And I was using tortillas to make my wrap. And they wanted a tortilla. So I split one and they're having it. And they are dancing because they love it so much, huh? You like tortilla? Yeah. 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 That is totally me. I would totally just eat a tortilla on its own. Dancing. I don't think I'm going to film too much more today. We're going to do bath, so I'm not going to film. And then bed. We might go outside in our jammies. I don't know. So I think I'm going to sign out here. Um... I will film probably tomorrow or Sunday when I'm kid free and just 
a little bit how that's going. So um, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos coming out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye, Gray. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Porter. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>